Hello and welcome again to Praxis Group International. My name is Mr. Hearn and I am your TOEFL tutor. In this video, I want to discuss a question that was posed to me by one of my students who is having difficulty with time management in the reading section. So if you're having difficulty with that issue, this is the video for you. Now, essentially, there are three main reasons why we have difficulty when trying to answer questions quickly and accurately. And the first one is unnecessary thoughts. Now, believe it or not, the TOEFL IBT is more a psychological test than a test of English. So when it comes to answering questions quickly, you want to control your emotions and control your self-talk. You see, the TOEFL IBT is designed, specifically designed to create anxiety and confusion in your mind. So when you look at a question, you may think, oh, man, this question is too long. This is going to take too long to read. When you're doing that, those are unnecessary thoughts, and they're stealing your time away from actually answering the question. The procedures that I teach are designed to reduce anxiety because you know exactly what you have to do, and it eliminates the unnecessary self-talk to give you step-by-step -step things to do that will take you to the right answer. So you want to control your emotions by just understanding that the test is easier than you think it is and control your self-talk by limiting it only to the procedures and methods needed to answer each question. Second, reading too much. Many students try to read and understand and learn a subject in order to answer the question correctly. And that is completely wrong. I know other tutors teach you to read books, learn to read faster, learn to understand better, even take notes. I don't know how these tutors think that you should stop and take notes and use your notes to answer questions in the reading section, but that is crazy. Sorry, I shouldn't say that, but that's not gonna work. Understand that the test is much easier than you may think. It is not about reading comprehension. It is not about reading the subject and learning about a subject and using what you've learned to answer questions. That's what you do in regular school. It is not what you do on the TOEFL IBT. For the TOEFL IBT, you have to identify the question type, know what the question is asking you about, find that one sentence in the passage, one sentence in the passage that is directly related to the question and use that sentence and the process of elimination to eliminate wrong choices. There are no right answers on the TOEFL IBT. If you're reading to learn and trying to pick what you think is right, you will never be able to improve your score beyond maybe 16 or 17, maybe 19 if you're guessing well, but using the procedures that I teach will help you to read less, understand more and get a higher score. And finally, the third thing is debating or indecision. Once my students have gotten pretty good with the procedures, they often still mix following the procedures with reading and understanding. And so they can easily eliminate two choices, but then get down to the two remaining choices and they want to debate and think about it and go back and read more and try to understand more. And they fall into a trap that just sucks the time out of you. What you want to do is follow the procedures I teach Read only as much as you need to find the clue in the passage and use that clue to eliminate wrong choices based on the rules of elimination. Now, if you want to know more about how to save time and answer questions quickly, easily, and accurately, please go to my website, that is www.pgila.org, and join the rest of us there who are serious about passing our TOEFL IBT. We really hope to see you there. We love to have new people and we really want to pass your TOEFL soon and be TOEFL free. I hope to see you there. Thank you.